becoming the assistant principal at the junior high, I used to teach seventh and eighth grade language arts. And my favorite book to teach was Freak the Mighty because of the great characters and the exciting storyline. Our family loves reading and we like to give ourselves our own challenges. For example, in the last few months, my seven-year-old has read all 51 of the Magic Treehouse books. I like to read when I have some downtime. I like to read outdoors. And this summer I read the book Insurgent. And I also started reading Mr. Roper's book, The Hunter Awakens. I always bring a book when I go camping. I even read when I fix dinner. The important things about being a reader is always having a good book. Waiting for surgery, I picked up this bone or this book, and sometimes you just have to read down a half a level or so, and you can learn a lot. It's called Dem Bones. It goes like this: the toe bone connected to the foot bone. The foot bones are the basement of your skeleton. The foot bone. Oops. <laughs> the foot bone is connected to the ankle bone. You wouldn't, without ankle bones, you wouldn't be able to lift your feet when you walk. Uh. Bah, said the lamb. Maybe ask the pigs. Did you say moo? Oink, 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 said the pigs. Moo, baby called to the ducks. Quack, the ducks called back. <laughs> then baby heard, I, I like This summer I read 13 books and I enjoy reading at night and when I'm on the treadmill and I like love stories and suspense and mysteries. Anything really mindless that I don't have to think about. Oh, uh, Miss Chatton. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, do you think you need to start class now? Oh, okay. oh, is it time for class? Oh, I just yes. have a couple more pages. Just a sec. Not gonna be able to finish this page. Guess we'll have to wait for later. When I get into a really good book, everything else has to wait. Yeah, my favorite book. Oh, oh, uh, I was just kind of texting in class. I should probably be reading the newest book from Veronica Raw. Four. Check it out. Harry Potter introduced my daughter to reading. I travel the world through the books I read. Um, I learn random bits of trivia that no one will possibly care for, but reading allows me to travel. It allows me to be a different person sometimes, and it has truly opened my world to places that I will probably never see in my real life. In the Gembus household, reading is one of our favorite evening activities. Right, girls? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite book right now, Claire? Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. One of my favorites right now is A Walk in the Woods. And Lydia, what and, about you? And she really likes it. Yeah, I do. And <laughs> we, um, Ham Ham Fingers Thumb. Uh, she really likes Ham Ham Fingers Thumb. Yeah, she does. So keep reading. Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Mervine. My favorite time to read is Sitting Out in the Sun by the Pool. I love magazines. I love books. One of my favorite times to read is with my grandkids. And one of their favorite books is Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. This is Jackson in Brooklyn. Let's Hi. Get in. Hi. Let's get into this book. A told B and B told C. I'll meet you to the top of the, the coconut tree. tree. We said D to E F G. I'll Don't beat you to the top of the coconut tree. tree. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Will, Will there, there be, be enough, enough room? room? Here comes H up the coconut tree. I remember lying in a soft bed, being spoon-fed something that tasted like buttered popcorn. Factory backing. In mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 1963. When I get up in the morning, early with the sun, I go and wake up Daddy and I'm ready for some fun. I know my daddy loves me. 
We head over to the kitchen. After we get dressed, we make pancakes with some honey and they taste the very best. I know my daddy loves Captain Hook. Captain Hook must remember not to scratch his toes. Captain Hook must watch out and never pick his nose. Captain Hook must be gentle when he shakes your hand. Captain Hook must be careful opening sardine cans and playing tag and pouring tea and turning pages of his book. Lots of folks I'm glad I ain't, but mostly Captain Hook. Shel Silverstein, fabulous artist, great poet. I like to read for information. When I'm interested in something, I want to learn all I can about that subject. One thing I like to read about is cooking. When I make Sunday dinner for my family, I like to try new recipes or make old recipes better. So I read a lot of cookbooks. I think I'm going to try this barbecue spear rib recipe. What I read, this sauce makes the dish. Everybody, Mr. Cataldo here. Wanted to let you know how important reading is. The most recent two books that I've read are the book Unbroken and the book The Lone Survivor. Currently, I'm reading this book, Mindset. Keep broadening your horizons by reading. Hey, are you gonna take the dog for a walk? Did you say you wanted to watch the game? It's gonna start in about five minutes. Hey, it's 6.30. I thought you wanted me to put those burgers on the grill at 6. I'd really rather read a book. Interested in the Chronicles of Narnia in fourth grade, and I've reread them so many times I can't even remember, most recently, when the movies started coming out again. Try a book series to get interested in reading. <laughs> I love to read. <laughs> These are some of my favorite books. Pero los monstruos gritaron, Por favor, no te vayas. Te comeremos. En verdad, te queremos. A lo cual Max respondió, No! These are a few of the books that I read over the summer. But one problem that I have with reading, and I've had this ever since I was a little girl reading the Baby Star Club books in elementary school, is that once I start a book, I cannot put it down until I'm finished with it. So if you ever see me really tired at school, ask me what book I was reading because it was probably a good one and I was probably up really late at night finishing it. The book's way better than the movie. Horn went beep, engine purred, friendliest sounds you ever heard. Little blue truck came down the road, beep said blue to a big green toad. Toad said croak and winked an eye when little blue truck went. What's on your reading list? Mr. Roper, Mr. Roper, I'm so excited. It's my favorite time of day. We're going to read. Are you going to read to us? I am. Yes, yes. Kevin. What are we going to read? What are we going to hear? Well, kids, today we're going to start The Hunter Awakens by J.R. Roper. Oh, Here we ooh. go. Chapter 1, The Storm. Mel knelt on the forest floor and visualized herself throwing the knife, the blade spinning end over end, and the point sinking into her target. All right, boys, today we're starting Chapter 3, Just a Shadow. Vestry oh, slapped the center console. Wake up, she demanded. He can walk with a jolt. The dreams of his father had returned. Mm -hmm. The end. Hey, thanks, Mr. Roper. I'm glad we got to read outside today. Yeah. That was a great Ooh. book. Is there another one? Book can we two? keep reading? Oh, I want to read again. Book two is coming out next May, guys, so for your summer reading, you'll be ready to go. Yes. Yeah! yeah. Well, thank you, Mr. Ooh. Roper. You're the best. Great read. Yeah. Great read. Best teacher ever. I couldn't believe Thanks. that guy died. <laughs>